Good morning. Overcoming life's struggles. It's possible with a helping hand, and for some, it started in the kitchen. So a few times a year, Gap Ministries trains and certifies a small group of people to work in the kitchen. And on your side's Megan Meyer joining us live now. She went inside the culinary training school to tell us more. Hey, Megan, good morning to you. Good morning, Mark and Lydia. Gap is a nonprofit with one goal in mind, helping people get back on their feet. And for some, that road leads them to the kitchen. Here's student Marlene Guero's story. When you step into Gap Ministries kitchen, you'll find Marlene Guero and under that mask, she's all smiles. To express your passion through food, how you want to give it to someone, how to fix it, how to taste it, how to present it. Marlene's time in the kitchen is what she calls a fresh start. I began to dabble into um, drugs and alcohol at a very young age. I, and then um, from there, my life was just I had no direction. At 57 years old, she came to Tucson to take part in a recovery program, which eventually led her to Gap Ministries. So it is definitely a, a new start for them. We give them not just culinary skills, we give them financial education, we give them life skills to help them be leaders, um, a holistic approach to help change people. After 10 weeks of training, Marlene graduated with a culinary certificate. But even more important to her are the people that came to see her biggest accomplishment. To reunite with my family again, traveling just to see me accomplish something, a broken person, then making it something of myself or a change. Marlene says she'll continue to make her family proud and explore new job opportunities. And whatever I have to offer, I'm gonna give it to them. Now Marlene tells me she hopes to work for the U of A and cook for the school's athletic program. Megan Meyer, Kega Nana Nirsa.